Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here, and welcome back to another episode of the Paris 13 Atletico Save as we look to turn P Paris 13 Atletico into a better team than PSG in the non-league to legend. Since we last met, obviously we had the bit of the match engine run bad, um, but more importantly, with the games that have been played in our last result, we are going to finish on a minimum of 50 points, and that's the same what Liverpool can finish. Yes, they haven't automatically said that we're finishing in the top seven, but the reason we've come here a bit early is because unless they overturn a 19 goal goal difference, we will be finishing in the top seven this year. Reason I've come back a bit early is that PSG and Monaco have just made the French Cup final. On top of that as well, because of Monaco securing a top four spot, it means that the Europa League place goes to the league, which means that not just fifth, sixth will get a Europa League group stage spot with seventh being a conference league spot plus an extra mule in prize money. We shift our attention from finishing in Europe this season, which at some points did look like a bit of an nervy run thing. Mainly Lil started dropping points the same times we did. Um, if we can somehow bring it to the final day, we will have a showdown at home against Strasbourg to who gets to play in Europa League, who plays in the Conference League, and who gets the extra mule prize money. On top of that as well, there is definitely a few games to go. We've got Montpellier. I just played FC Nance. We did win 2-0 and, and uh, Lil won as well, but Lille obviously dropping points last match out when we conceded in the 90th has really helped us out. We needed to go on a losing streak that hasn't happened, which is great. Next time we see each other, it's going to be to recap the Montpellier game. If we've lost this game, I'm going to still give you the Lille and Strasbourg games. If we win against Montpellier, I'm actually going to also play the Lille game off as well, because it means that most likely we're going to be in a position where on the final day, it's just going to be a showdown against Strasbourg. If there's a world where we lose and Strasbourg win and then we don't get within three points of it for the final day, I'll still give you the final game as a little bit of a precursor um, and then we can just have a look at how much money we get, so be it. But hopefully, fingers crossed, we're going to finish inside Europe, but hopefully we're going to have a final day showdown for not just the Conference League spot, a Europa League spot as well. Well, YouTube, we won, but at what cost? At what cost? We won. Strasbourg are about to play. Our signing that we made on a free at the start of the year, Mullet, who's averaging a seven, is now going to miss the end of the season and start of next year after breaking his lower leg. I don't even know. I was trying to make a change when he broke his leg, so we don't even know what happened. Let's go find out. And if this is a tackle that's had no booking... I am going to be up in uproar. If he's done it sprinting, I'm going to be up in uproar. Ah, apparently, he stepped on him. So he's gone in for a tackle. Ah, we're going to call him unlucky. I think he's tackled, and then this guy here has fallen on top of him and broke his leg. Fine. That is just, yeah. We qualify for the Conference League, at least officially now, because they cannot catch me. Um, we do have a Strasbourger playing in the later kickoff, so we're going to stay live because this will let us know if we... Okay, they won. We're going to have to give you the um, Montpellier, or the Lille game, I think, here, YouTube, because we're going to need at least a result, depending on the result of Strasbourg. We need to match Strasbourg's result to bring it to the final day if we're going to finish in the Europa League. If we lose the Strasbourg win, then we know it could be the end of the episode as well. Um... Look, we have a much better goal difference. We're much better than them. They keep winning games 1-0. We've just lost our best midfielder. Lil have a very good team. See these guys in a second. Welcome back, YouTube. Just getting a quick save in, and uh, we're going to be away. We play at the same time as Strasbourg, so it's a must-give-you game in terms of the episode. We've got a much better goal difference. It is goal difference before results against teams as a league sorting. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure. Yeah, goal difference just there. There you go. Scroll it up to the top of the screen there for you. Um, which means that if we even end up on the same points, it works as an extra point for us. But two points back, two games to go. In terms of who Strasbourg are playing, they're playing Angers, who need to get a result in order to get out the relegation zone. So as much as it's not an easy, as much as it's an easy game on paper, they beat us 3-1 at the start of this whole stream. It would be full circle if they beat Strasbourg for us to do us a favour. We must equal the result of whatever Strasbourg do. So if they win, we must win. If they draw, we must either win to go ahead or draw to keep the gap. If they draw and we lose, we still can win on 
win and win on goal difference. If we lose and they win, it's game over. If we draw and they win, it's game over. So we have to either match their result or hope they do not win. Anyway, that was a very long-winded for just saying just do whatever you need to do. Masawemo is going to come in, Mr. Experience. Apart from that, Isaac, um, Joe Lucas, though, is going to play because he did score an absolute belter last episode, uh, last game out. When I mean a belter, edge of the, inside of the box, top bin, um, but it wasn't like a screamer. But yeah, in terms of that, the rest of the team is going to stay as it is. Collie's back to firing best the last five games. Dossu has still not had a good one, but he did get over a seven last game, which is great. Um, Cissé, Cissé, this could be his last time you see him in a YouTube episode game. Same with Shane, because they may not come back next year. I still don't know. Outside of that, Masawemo, we didn't think would be part of this run-in, but here he is. Dieng, Gozzi, Hector Fort, Shinola, the usual suspects are in the goal, or are in the team. Big game here. Lille have a fantastic side. they got Orsic, Rooney, Yazic, who scored two against us. We went one to up and we lost. Um, Reese Oxford, no, no Bamber. There he is. Jonathan Bamber's on the bench. He might not be 100% fit. Just want us to know the speculation and go play your best football, boys. Just go and just do what you need to do. Look, we don't know until, uh, yeah, fortunately losing, losing him is not great. They got scuffled on the bench. I think they would be better than Possum, but maybe not. Here we go, boys. We could bring up latest results latest results, but we need to do what we're doing. We will go on to later scores. They're the bottom game there. Right, we need, We hope Angers do us a job, but the fact that that Strasbourg are at home probably does not fill us with confidence. Ball back stick here. We're 1-0 down. Yazik's now scored three goals in two games against us. Great. Now we hope that Strasbourg do not win or else our hope for Europa League football is gone. Ball headed. 1-0 down. Angers are winning. That's big. That Angers are winning. Orsic now. Teore. Ball back stick. Yazik's going to score again. Who is Yusuf Yazik? Because he keeps doing this to me every time we play him. I've never heard of him. Yusuf Yazik. I watch enough world football. How have I not heard of Yusuf Yazik? Who are you? Turkish. Played 73 caps at 30. Actually, the face looks familiar. To be fair, it looks like he just does. He just picks on me because he doesn't. He's not really a prolific goal scorer, but it's his third goal in how many games? We're two 0 down, and now we pray for Angers just to hold on. Now we're getting pumped. We need a goal. Is what we need. Long, f weird throw. It wasn't even a throw to anyone. Okay, long ball. We need to win it. We do with Dieng. C say I'm going to win that. Yazik wins, and Dieng heads it straight back to him. We're about to be three 0 down. This is not exactly what you want. Rooney's in. We're being dismantled. Mercifully, we're going to finish at least in, the, in a conference league spot because this is ridiculous. 3-0 down. In a, must get, in a game we must get a result in. Poor Frohey. No one wants to pick up the ball. What the hell is going on here? Shane picks it up. Masawemu, Dosu, we need a performance out of something. Poor ball. No one was in the box anyway. Falls to him for any pressure on it. Shane. Joe Lucas, that is poor. What is going on here? This has been the weirdest stream. They're having a great... We're going to be 4-0 down. Good save from Shinola. This has been the weirdest stream. We have played oddly well in some games and lost or copped it. And then we've played really bad in others and copped it. We've had no uh, consistency tonight at all. Took me an hour and 31 minutes to lead in my first game. An hour and 40-something minutes to win my first game on stream tonight. Been streaming for three hours. In a must-win game, in a season where we've been very competitive, we're 3-0 down. We've only lost the game by three goals once this year. PSG, we were led against PSG home and away this year. Yet we're 3-0 down to Lille in the biggest game of the season. Angers are still winning 1-0. That's all that matters. This game's gone here. Goals are flying in everywhere else, but not there. That's good. This game's absolutely gone. I, I probably should try and think of a way to come back, but there is no way to come back. We're gone. We're 3-0 down. 
things don't generally happen like on FM where you can come back too much this year. You can come back from one, maybe two, but you can't come back from three. I'm going to go four to four, but this could mean we lose five or six. If Angus had a decent enough goal difference, I would actually pay for a 3 nil loss to keep the goal difference. The fact we're 20 goals clear of them, I can't afford to go for it. This is uh, not good. This is not good at all. This is not a good spot to be in. Alioski, of all people, is playing left wing. He's got no speed, but we've got to get someone out there. 3 nil down in one of our biggest games. Angus are still winning 1-0. At the moment, Angus, who beat us 3-1, are winning 1-0, and they've just had saved the penalty right on half-time as well. <sighs> wow. When a tackle falls back to him, Marini. Okay, this game's over. We have capitulated. We have capitulated. This young side from Paris have not been able to deal with anything. I'm going to 4x speed it because this game does not matter now. If anything, what I'm going to do is actually make a couple of changes here. Sh Shane loves a booking, so get him off. Collie loves a booking. Look, I don't care. Gauba, just get up front. Um, Hector's already got a booking, which is no good. Gozzi's on a booking. Diang, come off from a whistle just in case you get a booking. And you might be close to the yellow card stuff. Get him off. 60 minutes. Game's over here. We've capitulated. So that's fine. Just get on with it. Doesn't matter about the goal. Who cares? Yep. Do not care. It's all about this Angus result now. Angus still winning 1-0. Angus will keep us with a shot at the moment of Europa League football. Unless Strasbourg win. A draw will be enough for us to still take it to the final day because our goal difference is better than them. Uh, there's a highlight there, but I do need to get it back to some regular speed for the next game. I don't know what the result is. I don't know if they scored twice now in the last five minutes or whatever. We need an update. This is not how we pictured this going. We have absolutely capitulated. 4-1. 4-2 sounds a little bit respectable, which would be nice, but it doesn't really bother me. 4. Giaba. Dosu. Poor. What's, what's new? Well, everything's been poor. This highlight's going on too long for a highlight. That means absolutely nothing. 5-1 and 4-2, there's no difference because the goal difference is still superior by about 15 goals. one one If if Strasbourg score a late goal, it's all over. We've given away a penalty. All right, this is going on for too long. This is going on for too long. We don't need VAR. Just get on with it. We've copped it. I understand. We've choked. We've given it away, but Angers have given us hope, okay? Did that just say 2-2? Has there been four goal, three goals there in the space of two minutes? Did I read that right result right? It said 2-2 there? It says 2-2. What the hell's going on at Angers in Strasbourg? Pause the game here. It's 2-2. What's happened? Angers scored to go 2-1 up and Strasbourg scored straight away from kickoff. There's still time there for Strasbourg to win and come fifth this year. I think it's day 2-2. Two, two. I think it's come down to the final day. St straight away, fresh the arms. I would throw the bottle, but they never get excited by that. At least if I fresh my arms, I actually, you know, think about it. That was one of the worst performances we put in like all year. It finishes 2-2. Two, two. It does mean if we beat Strasbourg, but if only we beat Strasbourg on the final day, as we play them at home on the final day, we will finish in the Europa League spot. We need to thank Angers. We need to thank Angers. Send the assistant. It's not nice. It's not pretty. Strasbourg, where are you? I need to see what happened in this game. Thank you very much, Angers, who FM'd us in the first game of this stream. They, they have absolutely FM'd them. Six shots, 3.9 XG. I love you boys. Well done, Angers. They've given us hope that in our first season in League One, we could actually finish in a Europa League spot. So we're going to be paying off for Europa League spot and an extra one mil in prize money, which is huge for us. Salama found Kalu. Good well work goal. Good finish. Nice. Angers then dominated. They missed the pen. It's a defensive mistake. They've gone along for Florian Kuna, Mario Garcia, Diallo. Yeah, by the way, that Diallo boy is very good. 
Boy over the top. Kalu won, won it. Kalu went on a run. Kalu looked to cut it. Mistake. Okay. So the match engine has saved us. And then it's a... Uh, this goal does not even matter. Because even if, with us losing, even if they lost, it still be two points. We still need a win. Good ball. And there we are. Okay. Well, there you go, YouTube. We haven't done it convincingly, but we've brought it to the final day. And I see you guys in a second for Strasbourg in a must-win game. Have we got anyone suspended? We do. We have Hector Four out in his last game. Matty will be at right back for the big one. Welcome back, YouTube. Final day of the season. We must win in order to overtake Strasbourg on goal difference to play Europa League football. Please note in the balance, we've got 3.1 mil at the end of the season here. That is a lot of money. And considering we have spent a few mil on um, on uh, facilities this year, an expenditure and, uh, you know, this season, the most we've spent on is ground maintenance. Spent 3.1 mil on upgrading the facilities this year, which for those interested, the facilities now look like this. We've got adequate training, below average youth facilities, which shows you how basic they were when we started. That's a lot of money spent to still have another free meal there, which means we could add six or seven mil in the profit or in the uh, in the balance. One big note is that Dosu picked up a training injury out for five to seven days with a you know some sort of fire injury, I believe it was. Is it a fire injury? There we are. I think it was a fire injury. There we are. Groin injury, pulled groin. We've given him an injection to take no risk to make sure he can play this game. Outside of that. Matty has requested that he wants to leave the club. There's no better way than to put out a guy that has been with us, helped us come up through the leagues, has scored some big goals as an inverted wing back throughout his time, even though he hasn't scored many. He's only scored a handful, a few in the cup. Um, he's going to go out there to give us a game. One last hurrah. Masawemo as well. We don't plan on renewing his contract, but he will be here for another couple more years um, while he sits in here, one of the team leaders, as he eventually probably ends up retiring here. Look, big as game as any, mate. We've lost our Segundo Volante to a broken leg. You've played with Santa for a long time. Go out there and do it. Lucky last. I don't know if Shane's going to come back from Watford. I, I have not made an offer yet, and I don't know if I will. They are currently sitting after they are relegated. There's part of me that wants to loan him back. Considering they weren't willing to loan him back to me last year until they got out of the championship through the playoffs they're going to want to give him a first team opportunity in the championship it makes a lot of sense see say out of all the players that we have here on loan after buying and then selling to Dortmund and then getting back on loan he's one that we could just let go anyhow out of everyone that plays shadow striker or you know what a shadow striker should be we could probably find someone a little bit more quicker and a little bit more clinical that's going to add a few more goals to this team and another different sort of dynamism don't get me wrong, I love the bloke, and I think he's fantastic. But seven goals, ten assists, nothing to be scoffed at. But I just think there might be a player out there that might give us a few more goals throughout the season as well. In terms of the team, it's under the circumstance as full strength. Dieng has come out. I'm going to go Mawissa and Gozzi because they do have the better partnership with each other. Yes, Dieng is now the better footballer. Yes, Dieng arguably could be our best centre-back. Mawissa's played a lot of time together. Gozzi's there too. I'm going to go with that. For your game, Shinola, Maddie, Mawissa, Gozzi, Lucas. Yes, final day of the season. I've got Maddie and I've got Joe Lucas playing either side. I have got Shane and Masawemu. Yes, this is not League Two, and yes, this isn't a game to win the League Two title. This is League One and a uh, and a chance to finish in the Europa League. And we've got a, the same back four with the same keep and the same midfield two that got us promoted last year. That is correct. We've got that's actually the same lineup that saw us win the league last year. Is that the same? Cisse, Dosu, and Duran Colley. It's the same team that got us promoted last year. It's the same team that's lost to Strasbourg in the cup, beat Strasbourg in the cup last year when we were in League Two. Same team that beat Strasbourg again in the cup the year after last year in League Two. This team has played Strasbourg three times. We lead at two one. Here we go. Let's see what happens. And away we go. First thing we got to do is got to move Matty into an inverted wing back. He is a better inverted wing back than he is not. So just in, in, in like that. Into the dressing room. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. We deserve to qualify. 
they have not been great this year, but they just keep winning games 1-0, and that boy Diallo up top is fantastic. Like, he is next level. They've lined up with Adrian Kua, who's very good in the air, but Mr. Penalty last time out. Akuna's lined up at centre defensive mid instead of left back. Look, we're at home. They're probably favourites. If they come and play for a draw, we'll beat them. If they come to play for a win, it's going to be a, a well win. We're definitely going to have a look at tactics in a second as well. Tiago Almeida finds Joe Victor inside the Murmin. Joey Victor, we look to squeeze. We force him long. Can we win the ball in the air, please? Because he does. It's Cissé in what could be his final game. Indoor heads down. It's Matty in the inverted wing-back roll. His left bag's a wonder. Indoor, over the top. Dosu doesn't win. Falls to Dosu playing out there on one leg. Joe Lucas now drives in. Down he goes. No penalty given as it shouldn't have been because it was well, all ball. Tiago Almeida drives for Strasbourg. Dosu wins. It's a mistake. It's Dosu. It's the wonder kid. He cuts it all. He went for goal. It was selfish. Three minutes in, it's nil nil. Another highlight. Can't even change from later scores. Joe Lucas now on the ball. Finds Dosu. Looks for Cissé. Doesn't find him. Joe Victor. Akuna. Picked off by Masawemu. The ageless legs of Masawemu. Collie was there. Dosu's there. We lead 1-0. We lead 1-0. He looks like he thinks he scored. He's run over celebrating to the fans. I think he scored. Goal's been given. No VAR check that's going to overturn that one. All down to Mr. Experience. Massa Wemu in the middle of the park. All two-star of his ability. Steps in, wins it. Maybe their keeper should have done better. I don't give a rats because we lead 1-0 inside five. Apparently, we're still going to have a look at the VAR. I think he was on top by a mile. If we're checking for these, then there's no point having linesmen. He's on side by about 50 million feet. It's 1-1. One, one. It's 1-0. One it's not 1-1. One, one. It's 1-0. One, we, we currently sit fifth. Sixth. We sit somewhere above Strasbourg, which puts us in Europa League for now. Gozzi. Joe Lucas. Down the line. Collie makes a run. He comes across. Captain Fantastic does well. Drives to the byline. Puts it in there. Cissé! Oh, could have been a parting gift before he goes to Dortmund. Still one at Newman. What has been an even game? And to be fair, they've probably been a bit more clinical in terms of actual chances on target. Cissé again. Shane Sanath. Picks it up, Joe Lucas. Drives with it. Looks with it. It's Dosu. It's Masawemu. He's winding back the clock. Indoor, Matty, indoor bombing on. He's got it on his right leg. Can he find a ball in there? Instead, he looked for Matty. He drives inside. Still Matty, still Matty. Do it, Matt. He didn't. And now they're on the break here. and They're out. We need to win that. We don't. Gozzi, though, sweeps up fantastically. Finds Joe Lucas. Shane Sanaf now. Finds Masawemu. Indoor. Back to Mawissa. Very nice controlled possession there. Played it in, came out the other way. Deserves a bit of better, deserves an end product. This, this has been great. Great run from Joe Lucas. The elder statesmen are having a great game out there. The bit of experience seems to be helping. Lucas again, what a ball. Collie's offside. That wasn't meant for Collie either. This was, the, the whole time it was meant for Cissé and the game would have let him lock on. Cissé was onside and one on one and the ball locked on to Collie. Look at Cissé's run, everybody. This ball was never meant for Collie. Collie was offside the whole highlight. Look at Cissé. I'm going to highlight Cissé. This ball was meant for Cissé. Look where it ends up. Cissé's about to be one-on-one, -on -one and then the end, the end, it falls to Collie because it's run into his path. Should, be the, should have been a highlight for a 2-0 lead. Instead, it's 1-0 because the match engine's locked it on the Collie. Great build-up, great ball. Great run. Just fell to the wrong bloke. We've probably been arguably the better side. They, 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 look, apart from the goal, I thought they had the better of the first 20 minutes. Outside of that, I think we've had the better of the half. 60% possession, 12 shots free. We're 45 minutes away from Europa League football and 45 minutes away from an extra 1.1 mil or whatever it is for finishing sixth instead of seventh. 55 minutes played. Time still ticking away. Apart from a whistler out there, the match ratings look fantastic. I don't particularly want to make a change. 63 minutes in. 
because the, the, the boys are bossing it. I feel like a change would wreck the momentum. What a nice little one-two you can give a go from Indoor and Cissé. He's got men around him. What a save. John Ston has done well. And a big save from the English keeper to keep it at 1-0 there for Strasbourg. Shinola, Shane. They've dropped off us here and letting us play out. Dosu, Shane. Ball in the middle here is on for Masawemu. Turn and play, buddy. Cissé. Indoor, need an overlapping run. If we had four, it would have been. Indoor instead, turn his man. He's in the box. Collie. I smell Europa League football, ladies and gentlemen. I smell Europa League football, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a whirlwind of an episode, but as it stands, we're going to do it just by the skin of our teeth. Indoor, down the line, deflected. Keeper probably should get there first, but he never did. We lead 2-0. Collie scored. Going to make a couple changes here, I feel. Going to actually allow Collie to go as a winger on attack. Main reason is out ball. Stay really wide. We can pump it long to you. Kieda on the last man, right? On the last man, get me a third and a sealer. Joe Lucas, standing ovation, mate. You've been great. All his aging legs. All his aging legs at 31. He's starting to decline. He's, you know, a two and a half star National League player. He's been fantastic. Alioski, who we brought in as the experience this year coming from Southampton. You've had an okay year, mate. Out you go. Out you go. Don't overcommit yourself with the lack of speed now that you have. Right? Those are my changes for now. Those are my changes for now. 75 minutes played. Strasbourg now have started to look at pressing us. What a ball out, though, from Shinola. And Alioski, smart from the... Uh, Former buying up third choice keeper. A little bit of Manuel Neuer in him for sure. Gozzi, great ball. Massa Wemu's everywhere and then he's done. He's won at bat though. This man doesn't know the meaning of giving up the ball. Collie on that winger on attack. Looks for Cissé. It was a weird ball. Manu Garcia, it's a good ball. Here they come. Strasbourg now with an opportunity. Mbula. Deflected. Falls to him. Effort. Schindler lets it in. The nerves kick in. The nerves kick in. The nerves kick in. It's 2-1. What a weird ball from Collie. Schindler should bail us out. There's enough time for them to score. Don't you dare, football manager. Gozzi heads away. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. That's not a penalty. He's won it from front on. He's won the ball from front on. It's not a pen. No way. Shinola. Shinola. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on, boys. Shinola saves. Oh, my word. By the way, that Adriel Joe Quig bloke missed a penalty last game as well. He's missed two penalties in two matches for Strasbourg. We need to get a shout out there. Boys, demand more. Wake up. Manu Garcia back stick. Joey Victor headed away by Shane Sanef. Ten minutes left to go. Another highlight. We don't want highlights. We want the game to be over, thanks. Alioski, Dosu. Picked, oh my god, Tiago Amidas picked his pocket. Gozzi, just thump it, get it out of here, fuck it off. Abdul Mumin. They've started to dominate us. Big switch. Alioski needs to win, doesn't. Got time, you've got time, you've got time. Shinola, that's not the ball. We are we are all over the shop. We are all over the shop. Masawemu, our ball was to Dosu, we didn't want to play it. Kieda's not going to get on that. I've got a really bad feeling, boys. We've switched off. We've switched off. We've switched off. Get a tackle in, please. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Oh, you got to be cunting me. 4-2-4. Four, four. we got to go. We've thrown it away. See what I mean? I should have made no changes. should have made no changes. just left it. As soon as I made a couple little tweaks to get a little bit of fresh legs out there, game over. Marvin's going to go out there as a winger. Masawemu, thank you for the service, mate. You've been fantastic. 
Galba, you're a big boy. Send him in on attack. Get bombing on. We need a goal. We need a goal. We need a goal. Highlight. 89th minute. We need a goal. We're going to be in the conference league now. We've thrown away a 2-0 lead. Alioski wins. Kieda. Dosu. Needs runners. Colley ain't going to get on that. Marvin's going to get on it at least here. Colley down the line. We need someone in the box to show themselves. It's a block. They're going to come down the other end because they're going foot on the throttle themselves. We need a tackle in the middle of the park here, Shane. There's no tackle. They're in. It's in Bula. They have an option. This is game over. Oh, we have choked. Oh, we have choked. That is utterly disgusting. Utterly disgusting. We missed out by six points, but theoretically, we missed out by 15 minutes of football. 15 minutes of football from the 70, 76th through. We led 2-0, we dominated. I made a couple of changes to get fresh legs in positions. We just don't have any quality on the bench. That is utterly, 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 utterly stupid. Look at that. Dominating and then boom. Wow. Absolutely wow. Absolutely wow. Got done by a bald head and a beard that he can't even grow properly. I can't even speak. I can't grow a beard properly. Go fuck yourself. Scored 12 goals all year. Yeah, great. Strasbourg have got away with blood water this whole year. Negative four goal difference all fucking year, man. All year. We can look back at so many moments. I'm going to straight away look back to the Marseille game. Straight away look back to the Marseille game. If we hold on for 1-0 there, we're on three extra points. We go into the final day, being on level terms, we were 2 new up, I would have started time-wasting and said, even if it finishes 2-2 here, who cares? Instead, no. Forced to go out there. Angus, who did us a favour, FM'd us in our first game on stream tonight. Breast to a 14th, couldn't win. The 90th minute fucking bullshit goal from Marseille. Put all those moments together, we're a team that are there. Absolute a fucking joke. A joke. An absolute joke. That is a joke, man. Strasbourg scored seven more goals this year over their XG compared to my 1.33. Seven more goals than what they're expected. Seven. Expected 48 goals against. Strasbourg expected 50. Strasbourg only conceded 49. I conceded 49. Okay, very similar there. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Well, YouTube, I see you for the rebuild. We're in the Conference League. There might be a silver line to that, but we're nowhere near ready with the squad that we have to even be in, the, the, in Europe. So I think we have to look at hindsight here and go... First year in, we finished in a spot that's European, which is fantastic. We threw away the National League title where we choked it on the final day. We led 2-0. We barely, rarely, rarely give away leads. Strasbourg had barely scored goals all year. That happened.
that happened. See you next time. Thank you and goodbye.